Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kodash, Barakata. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And I also want to say peace and salutations to you, Akim, across the four corners of this globe that are out here pushing this gospel in all truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, as well as you confusion of faces. Now with that, um, I'm probably going to entitle this video Concerning the Elect. Because one thing that you're going to know in a telltale sign of who the elect are is these next couple of scriptures that I'm going to read. Because nobody is going to be able to pluck the elect out of Yahweh Shai's hands, man. Nothing, even up until death. So with that, my first scripture I want to get is, this is St. John, chapter um, 10, verse 27 and 28. And my point is being in verse 28, and it reads, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. This is Yahweh Shai speaking and the point being in this verse right here verse 28 and i give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand so kind nothing in this world is going to be able to take the elect from yahweh shai's hand because the elect were with yahweh shai from the beginning man so with that I want to give my first precept, and this is going to be the book of Romans, um, chapter 8 and verse 35. Come. And it reads, uh, let me highlight it. Who shall separate us from the love of Amashiach, Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulation or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. Nothing is going to separate us from uh, the love of a uh, Mashiach, man. If you are the elect and us men who are out here pushing this word for Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, we hope to be of that number. We really going to know if we are of the elect when it come down to it, because we're not going to fall out this truth. No, no stumbling block is going to catch us up to where we fall out this truth. And what I like about this scripture is what's the very last thing it asks with a sword. Well, death, man. So we, the, the elect, are going to be in, in this until death, man. Even if Esau killed him, man, they're going to remain faithful to Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. And a uh, scripture that, well, first of all, I'm going to get this preset real quick. So don't worry if you get killed in this word, man. This is going to be uh, Second Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians real quick. This is an extra preset that I didn't have planned, but hey, I'm going to bring it up. This is Second Thessalonians. Uh, is it three? Uh, Salakia brothers, bear with me real quick. Okay, maybe it's two. Um, bear with me one second. I can't. I'm going to get this scripture real quick. I got to go into my hard sword. Because I want to, this is going to uh, be a good scripture. Oh, I'm Salakia, Salakia, Aki. I mean, first, first Thessalonians. Forgive me for that. Uh, this is first Thessalonians chapter four. Come, this is first Thessalonians chapter four and verse 16. And it reads, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and that Lord is speaking of Yahweh Shai 
with the voice of the archangel, which is Michael, and with the trump of God, the Most High Yahweh. And the dead in Amashiach Yahweh Shai shall, shall rise first. Kind. So yeah, even if you uh, die in this truth and you are the elect man, when Yahweh Shai come back, you are going to rise first. Now with that, I want to get my other scripture that I was going to pull to go with that. Uh, because those who die, the Most High is going to avenge them. Uh, and this is St. Luke chapter 18 and verse 7. And it reads, And shall not the Most High Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with, with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. So yeah, the Most High going to avenge those of us who are the elect, who fall by the sword doing this work, man. So next, I want to get my uh, another precept. And this is Second Peter's. This is the book of Second Peter's chapter 1 and verse 10. Con, let me uh, highlight this. Con, it says, Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fail. Con, man, so we want to uh, give diligence to make our calling and election sure. And how do we do that, man? By doing this work, man. By constantly staying spiritual minded man not giving way to the ways of this uh wicked world man and this wicked system man now with that i want to get my last uh precept and this is going to be the book of saint luke chapter six and um verse 46 through 49 kind i'm gonna highlight this real quick the water for bearing with me, I can. Okay, and it reads, this is St. Luke chapter, and this is, a, is an example, man, of how we make our calling in an election sure. This is St. Luke chapter 6, starting at verse 46. And why call ye me, Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? The Most High told us to go, what did he tell us to do? He told us to go out into the highways and hedges, man. He told us to be, uh, Wise as serpents and harmless as doves. You know, just to give a few examples. Continuing on in verse 46. Salakia, verse 47, it reads, Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them, I will show you to whom he is like. So this, the most uh, high son, Yahweh Shai, is about to tell you what the men who do his work, what they are compared to, what they are like. And in verse 48, it reads, he is like a man which built a house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house and could not shake it, man. So like it for me saying, man, that's not in here. I said that for it was founded upon a rock. Kind. So that's what the men who do the, the work of the Lord, man, are being compared to. Those who built their house, they, their foundation was upon a rock. Continuing on in verse 49. But he that heareth and doeth not is like a man that without a foundation built in house upon the earth against which the stream did beat vehemently. And immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was great, man. So, Khan, it just hit me in verse 49. It says, at the beginning, but he that heareth and doeth not. So, like, that, that makes me think of that scripture of uh, many are called, but few are chosen. Because there are men who, who uh, hear this truth, but they don't do what is commanded of them man they don't build their house on a solid foundation but one thing that is guaranteed and for sure is that the elect 
are going to build their houses upon the foundation, man. And they are going to endure to the end. Now, with that, hopefully this video was edifying to those of you, to the hopeful elect, and to those of you who are along with me learning this uh, gospel. With that, again, I want to say, call Halayim, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakha Kodash, Barakata, which is all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I also want to give double honors again to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And I also want to say peace and salutations to you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel. And I mean that with all sincerity, man, because my sword, I'm sharpening my sword all day, every day off of the videos that you, Akim, are putting up, man. So with that, I want to say, Shalom.